Hey guys, NeuroGal here. Because I had so much positive feedback from my review on the Brain Enhancing Supplement Alpha Brain, I've decided to go ahead and continue to review supplements that are purported to improve cognition. I always like to take a realistic approach in my reviews. I like to break down the data so that we can really identify whether there is enough evidence to support the efficacy of the particular supplement of interest. So moving on, I am going to do a short video on the nootropic lion's mane, aka Herisium erinaceus. Please excuse that pronunciation. I'm sure it's wrong, but I try. Lion's mane is a well-known white edible mushroom that grows on trees. It looks like a lion's mane, hence the name. It is purported to promote cognitive enhancement, neuroprotection, neurogenesis, which means the formation of new neurons, and is also purported to reduce depression and anxiety. So what is the evidence that it actually does that? Let's look at the basic neuroscience research. The studies that I found show that the extracts found in lion's mane increase the genetic expression of nerve growth factor. Now, nerve growth factor promotes neurogenesis, which means it promotes the growth of new neurons. More specifically, a study I found showed that lion's mane increased the expression of nerve growth factor in the hippocampus of brains of mice who were given the extract. The hippocampus is the part of the brain that is involved in forming new memories. In vitro studies also have shown that lion's mane increases the length of the branches of neurons, and also lion mane has been shown to decrease the hyperexcitability of neurons by decreasing their response to glutamate, which means that when neurons become hyperexcitable, they are more likely to get damaged and die. So lion's mane decreases that hyperexcitability. All of the reported effects that I just described have been performed in animal models and in, in vitro studies. What about humans? Are there any studies that show that lion's mane is effective in humans? I only found two randomized control trials in humans. Now remember that randomized control trials are the gold standard of science. The first study measured whether lion's mane was effective in improving cognition in older people with mild cognitive impairment. They found that people who were given lion's mane did have improved cognitive performance on various cognitive batteries, but the study only included 30 people and all of them had mild cognitive impairment. None of them were actually healthy individuals. The second study was also a double-blinded randomized control trial. This time it identified 30 menopausal women and divided up them up into two groups, one who would receive placebo and one who received lion's mane. What they found was that the women who were given lion's mane had decreased reports of depression and anxiety and also decreased, re decreased reports of menopausal symptoms. There was nothing in the study that actually measured cognitive performance. To recap, one randomized control trial in humans that showed that lion's mane could improve cognition in people who were cognitively impaired. Second, randomized control trial showed that lion's mane could decrease depression and anxiety in menopausal women. Is lion's mane safe? The trials that have been performed only report mild GI symptoms in a very small number of people. There is one report of an extreme allergic reaction in an elderly gentleman that was likely related to lion's mane, but that is extremely rare. So overall, it seems that lion's mane is safe. People cook with it all the time. So my conclusions for lion's mane, is it effective? Well, there's not enough evidence. There is actually no study that shows that it is effective in healthy adults. Anecdotally, I tried lion's mane for a few weeks and it didn't really do anything. Then again, it was more of a subjective feeling of a null experience. So that's my conclusion. I'm sorry that it's probably not what you want to hear. I'm not saying that it's not effective. There's just not enough evidence to really support that it is. There need to be more studies to really show that. All right, I will leave it at that. This is going to be a short video. I have to go and get some errands done, but 
hope you have a great day. I hope that this was somewhat helpful. And uh, please be sure to subscribe to my video and leave some comments. And we will see you later. Thanks.